And Japanese girls first saw me for the first time. They said, oh, you look like <laughs> me. <laughs> now, 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 look at me. <laughs> Welcome to the Kudo Couch. You got your boy Gizmo. Hey, I'm your boy Eight. I'm your boy Tally. Idiot. But anyway, yo, this is the first installment we're gonna do at the Kuro Couch. Uh, essentially, what it is: we two dudes. We live in Japan. We're black, and we thought we'd just uh, talk about the experience of being in Japan and stuff like that while getting faded and playing video games. So, yo, let's do it. Let's enjoy it and have some fun. You know, what we want to talk about is like strange experiences we had since we in Japan. As you, as you know. We both live in Japan. I teach English in Japan. Me too. And I've been here for about five years now. I mean, Japan has kind of essentially become like a, a second home, third home to me in a sense, because I'm originally from Trinidad, America. So it's like a third home to me because I've been here for, for like five years. How, how do you really feel about it? Because you've been here like, what, four years now? I've been here about, about four and a half years. Uh, you know, I came from, I came from the mi Midwest and like West Coast. So, you know, Japan was just a really big change for me. Like there was nothing that I knew coming into here that would prepare me to like experience Japan in the way that Japanese people thought I would be be ready for Japan. So it it, it was it was really well, everybody thinks you're ready for Japan, but uh, right. So I'm from Arizona, originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I lived in Arizona for many many years. Channel Arizona baby. I'd always had like an a fixation with Japanese culture. I always thought like Japanese culture was freaking mad dope. But why? Yo, when I was like a freaking kid, son, I used to dress up as a ninja. I thought ninjas were the coolest thing ever. So, like, I, I dressed up as a ninja, I took karate, a little kid in the Caribbean doing all that. I always thought freaking Japan was amazing, and Japanese girls are fly, so. Damn, I never could tell the difference between Japanese women and Chinese women anyway. Wow, you're a racist. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the racist one. So, what was uh, the weirdest you've ever experienced here? In yeah, that's what we're talking about, huh? Um, being a teacher when I first came here one of the weirdest things i saw i saw like students giving like teachers back rubs bro and like that made me feel super freaking awkward watching that like uh, it, i mean it doesn't mean anything here <laughs> but like fresh coming from america like all i could think of was like damn son like if that was my kid back rubbing <laughs> the student, yeah, and, yeah like yeah. i had walked yeah, in and nah. seen that like be, that, that should be like hey hey it would have been the knuckles, pta bro. you know like hey come on now it'd have been knuckles bro like it, that don't fly. Like, That's seriously, just, just straight up back rub. Just, just back rub. Going, you using the elbow and yeah. everything. Like, oh, and then the like teacher, sensual you know, oil bro, in, Like my nigga, he was the teacher was like, oh, oh, mm. kimochi, kimochi. Like that feels good. Like. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, no, no, that's no, the, like the extra credit, no, <laughs> no. Like, is, is there ex extra credit involved? Is there none? Like just, just flying yeah. over Russia, bro. No Damn. fly zone, my nigga. <laughs> no fly zone. Damn. What's one of your um, weirdest experiences? I mean, like one of the first experiences I ever had was just when I went out to the bar. Right, and Japanese girls first saw me for the first time. They said, "Oh, you look like Bill Cosby." <laughs> No, 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 look at me. <laughs> How many quaaludes did you put in your drink, bro? <laughs> How many quaaludes? <laughs> you put quaaludes? Now look at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I have in common with Bill Cosby is that we are from an African heritage. Bro, like, I came here and people said I look like Will Smith. <laughs> don't be it. I don't look like Will, Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever tell me I look like Bill Cosby, bro. <laughs> That nigga's like like 109. And like, like, I don't eat so much how, yellow. Like, how I old uh, are the girls I, that were trying to talk to you? I, <laughs> I don't even know who Bill Cosby is. Ain't nobody. <laughs> Son, that's I've crazy. heard that, unfortunately, more than one time. More than one time. I've had Will Smith, and that, uh, it's flattering, Bro. so I'll take it. But I've I'll Bill take, Cosby? I'll take Will Smith over Bill Cosby. Uh, you know, I think anybody would. <laughs> Did Damn. Bill Cosby? She said you look like Bill Cosby. She said I look like Bill Cosby. That's crazy. Mm. Damn. Mm. Yeah. Joel Putin. Mm. There was a time that um I was like I frequent this club or whatever, like a hip hop joint or whatever, and I I'm pretty cool with the bouncer. There a fight broke out, right? Mm. A fight broke out, and he like he came to me to like freaking like kind of squash whatever was going on. So like these these Brazilian dudes are in the middle of the dance floor like acting up and like. I get in the middle, I'm like, yo, y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. Y'all y'all need to chill. I'm pretty faded or whatever. Y'all need to chill. Fall back. Fall back. And like, I broke these two fools up. And like, in my Regular. moment of like, keeping the peace. You know that scene from, um, I think Rush Hour 2? Give me some room. 
You don't know who you're messing with. Don't knock that yellow. Which one of y'all kicked me? Somebody just hit me on the jaw. Boom! I like, oh, yes. no, no, I like, I turned around and I swear to God, nobody moved, bro. Like, everybody was in the same position. And I went from peacemaker to trying to scrap everybody. I was like, which one of y'all niggas hit me? Which one of y'all niggas hit me? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Yo, what's good, y'all? Gizmo here from Post Production. Just asking you real quick, if you want to support the Curl Couch, be sure to hit this video with a like and leave a comment because it helps us battle the YouTube algorithm and blah, 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 blah. Want to see more Curl Couch? Like, comment, subscribe. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Hmm. What the hell? Like, it was just like that scene. That's like another crazy moment. Kind of relates to like any store that I, I mean, like, when I go to the clubs, Bro. it's so weird to see like Japanese guys be like, hey, yeah, you can dance with my girlfriend. Like, oh, Japanese guys just like so quick with that. Like, yeah, I, I don't want to mess with her right now. Go ahead and dance with my girlfriend. I yeah. ride on her all night. I don't care. You see, you are just a scumbag like that. I, mean, I would <laughs> I mean, do that. Yeah, like I, I am a little bit like that. However, probably one of my uh, most harrowing experiences. Your harrowing experiences. Yes, I would say like on a female a, hero, a heroine. Uh not not a heroine, but heroine. Oh, you want heroin like the drug? No, 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 no. Like with that H A R R O W, heroine. Okay. So you're experiences. You're no, I'm still not a female. <laughs> the Wonder Woman is what you're trying to say right now. <laughs> Was uh, on a bender of a night. I went to uh, one of our favorite places, an oasis of a bar. Yeah, on, on that night, I was I was pretty drunk at that night at that oh, time, wow. and I ended up getting a conversation with uh, a few yakuza yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, and, there's a gentleman, right? Yeah, they were they were gentlemen. One 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 in particular individual had uh, tattoos. Apparently, for every uh, person he had killed, <laughs> he had killed. Yeah, like he, he had teardrops, he, like yeah. a Mexican. Ah, uh, not like teardrops, but you know, he showed he showed me some tattoos, and uh, you know, I was convincing about it. So uh, they're like faces with yeah. like X's on them or something, <laughs> <laughs> like smiley face. There was smiley faces <laughs> with, with, with a big X on it. Like hey, he was a gentleman though. He bought me a couple drinks. So you yeah. know, I I was you know I was talking to them. Sure, there ain't no quaaludes in that drink, Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little jello in it probably i don't know but i stayed there for a few, few, few minutes you <laughs> know the jello shots they all started converging on me you know so eventually it was, this was probably getting creeping towards the you know 6 a.m is they decided they want to go to a, a second location you're not know, scary it's 6 a.m so I, i'm thinking well there's no places to go but they said hey let's go into the car you know let's we'll find some place i went in the car because I went to the Yakuza people. I can't really say no. You can't say no. Yeah, you can. I can ah, I, I'll tell you how to say no. It's ah, no. I, I didn't like, really want to say no at that even, point. Even in Japanese, <laughs> no, no is very well understood. So we ended up going to a second place. But the problem was that this place wasn't open. Well, I thought it was a problem. They didn't think it was a problem. Because they telephoned the guy who owned the place. Woke his ass up. <laughs> and started yelling at him that he wasn't prepared. For their visit. Maybe about 20 minutes later, this guy shows up <laughs> apologetic. Half asleep. <laughs> half asleep. And opens the bar. Damn at so. 7 o'clock in the morning. Right? At that point, everyone's starting to drink again. This is when I take my leave. I, I crawl out and I run back home because I don't really know what these people are about to do. Hey, you got that dude's number? No, I, I, I lost that. <laughs> Fortunately. So. I don't think I've seen that guy. I think he was an enforcer, so yeah, I'm good. I'm good on that one. Oh, you could have been a cool guy to chill with, man. Probably, though. Stuff that dude that Jackie Chan me in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that yet. Anything else that, like, really, like, surprised you about Japan? Just, like, the whole, like, how people ignore, purposely try to, like, avoid looking at you. Oh, that's true. If I go to dinner with a Japanese person, best believe that the waitress or waiter is not talking to me. Yeah, even if you speak Japanese. Even when I speak direct Japanese directly to their face, they're still going to look away from me like, hey, I'm yeah, going to talk to a Japanese person, okay? It's just, like, Japan is very, they're very homogenous. So, like, seeing black people, I guess, if you're outside of a big city like Tokyo, is still kind of a, a rarity. Especially, like, because I have dreads and stuff. and Yeah. So, people will people will look at me, but, like, the looking at me part, I don't have a problem with that. It's the problem, like, you purposely not yeah. trying, like, you're looking at the floor or something when I walk by you. Yeah. Like, purposely ignoring me. That Just think think me. of a white person walking down a, a, a alleyway with black people walking by. That that's basically what we get every day. Oh, yeah. I remember some awkward things. I remember when I uh, first saw this train station next, really close to where we live, and they used to have like a 
it was a sign for Unagi. On the sign, they had uh, these blackface characters. Oh, black! Yeah, blackface is a thing. Blackface yeah. is a thing like, here, son. Yeah, it, for real, blackface is a thing here. And I remember people just laughing at the sign, but not understanding why or what they were laughing at. Yo, Japan is so like distant with its cultural yeah. sensitivity. Yeah. They just don't understand. It's freaking. I mean, it's not their culture, but they blame them. Being ignorant is like no real excuse. I do live shows or whatever. One time at the bar next to where I was doing the live show, there was um just straight in blackface three Japanese girls that were doing R and B. Really? Oh, like, you told me I, yeah, about I showed that. You yeah. the, the the flyer of it, just yeah. straight in blackface. They had like perms and stuff, like mm. in afros. And I was just like, yo, is this freaking is, real? Is this But like, like they even do it with like white people too. They'll be like for Halloween, you could be like be like a gaijin. They give you the big nose and the glasses and the blonde hair. And it's like sun, like how culturally insensitive is that? Like in yo, America, like, have we ever like You like, can't do that in like, America? Do we just like, like oh I'm Japanese yeah, now? Like you we can't we can't do that, right? You can't do that. Yeah, right. Son, you can't right. do that. Yo, you can't do that in America, but yeah, you can do that here in Japan, that's that's fine. That's like, fine. It's you cool. It's funny. Those- I would just say, in general, coming to this culture and realizing how much they rely on things being cute rather than oh, things yeah, being... Oh, yeah, the whole cuteness thing. Yeah. I mean, I work with all women at my company. I have uh, five co-workers at my private school, and they're all women. And every single day is a struggle for me because the only thing I ever hear all day is, Oh, my God, it's so cute. Because that is what Japan is about. Mm-hmm. They don't care about... Anything but cute things and sweets, maybe, women. So, if you ever want to woo a Japanese girl, only thing you have to do is show her something cute and give her chocolate. So. Uh, I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> I'm not gonna, Japanese girls do have a, a big freaking thing for cute. You know, have you ever seen the symbol for, like, um the Japanese police, and for, like, the cops or whatever? No. The, the freaking, the, it's a guy with, um he has a human body and a soccer ball for a face. That's the representation <laughs> of the police force in Japan. <laughs> I'm kick dead me. serious. I'm Basically, dead serious. it's kick me. They, they have an affinity for cuteness. They do. Japan has an affinity. Even for like cuteness. when you see like a construction, you have like a cartoon character yeah. telling you like, "Watch it's... out, you might get killed by the drill that's right here." <laughs> and the but... drill's that cute. The, <laughs> the drill's, drill's super cute. cute. He's like, "Hey!" <laughs> yeah, he has rouge on and everything. Yeah, you know, just big old just... puffy cheeks, man. I mean, you oh, wear the drill. There's nothing in Japan that's safe from cuteness. <laughs> nothing in Japan that's safe from cuteness. How do they ever have samurai in this country? Like, they have the make... cutest samurai <laughs> ever. <laughs> right? Uh, uh, that's game. And I guess that's a good cue to call it. But yo, this is the Kudo Couch. If y'all have any questions or anything, please comment, like, subscribe. Hit us up in the comment section. Uh, hopefully we can do more of these if it's cool. I mean, it's, it's chill. Yeah. Whatever. But anyway, yo, Kid Gizmo, checking out. Tally. Check it out. Catch you later, man. Peace. Peace. Which one of y'all kicked me?